the new Pixel 6 and Pixel 6 Pro phones from Google. Welcome back to another Textination interview. Joining us from Google is Justin Burr. Great to see you, Justin. Hey, thanks for having me, Fred. Let's talk about the design first. It seems like uh, Google is focused on that more than in previous versions of the Pixel phones. Yeah, definitely. Uh, there's So yeah, we've got the Pixel 6, the Pixel 6 Pro. So the Pixel 6 Pro, and from a design perspective, a little bit bigger, faster refresh rate, and a bit more um, uh, uh, smoother scrolling capabilities, also more premium materials as well. And I think what everybody notices the first time they see this phone is that giant camera bar. And that's great, though, because there's a lot of really interesting camera technology within there. There's a new light sensor. You've got the ultra wide lens as well. And yeah, they have focused a lot more on design, but it's a really smooth feel. It feels really nice. They're larger phones for sure. They had they don't have like a smaller option this year round, which I like. There's a gorgeous display and uh, yeah, allows allows for a really good user experience. Well, pricing is a, a big part of the story here too, with the Pixel 6 starting at $599, the Pixel 6 Pro at $899. So that those are for premium phones, those are those are great price points. Totally, totally. And I think that that's where, you know, we see a really good value add as well. You know, great price points, but still we're not sacrificing any sort of quality, any sort of other experiences that you might find with a cheaper phone. Like it's just quite premium, but at a pretty solid price point, especially when you compare it to some of the other smartphones out there that are available. Well, we should say that the prices for the, for the phones can be higher depending upon the amount of storage people order. Yeah. Yeah. And there's, there's, there's other packages that you can have, which allow you to access different subscription services. Um, and you can find information on that at store.google.com, but yeah, you can buy cloud storage. You can buy uh, subscriptions to YouTube TV and YouTube music. And that kind of factors into it as well. But yeah, for just the hardware, you're right with the 599 and 899 price points. Terrific. And the heart of this, of these new phones is, is what you call the tensor system on a chip. Tell us about that. Yeah, the tensor chip. So yeah, this is the first chip that we've ever built at Google for some of our mobile devices. And it just allows for an awesome variety of things to be carried out. Basically, it's just got all the Google smarts within the actual tensor chip um, right there. And so, yeah, it's a new mobile chip, allows it to get, have more security, allows it to be faster. But again, it's just an entire soup to nut situation within the Pixel 6. A lot of, previously we, we had used chips from, from other companies, but we built this right here. It's got the Google smarts and allows to carry out some of the most, you know, hot, uh, complex, complex things on the actual phone itself through the tensor chip. Including some things with the, with the cameras that you were talking about. You've got features in there like uh, better capturing of skin tones for people of color and uh, something that you call magic eraser too. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm glad you asked about that. So there's this real tone feature. So historically, going back decades, camera technology has centered around individuals with lighter skin, which is obviously problematic. And so we partnered with a lot of videographers, photographers, just image experts that have been celebrated in the community for capturing these beautiful, accurate images of communities of color. And so in collaboration with them, we built this feature called Real Tone, and that allows our cameras to work awesome for everyone, regardless of their skin color. There's also that magic eraser feature that you just mentioned as well. And so that, you know, I think everybody's been in a situation where you take a really great photo and then there's something in the background or somebody in the background, there's just some sort of an unwanted image that kind of is allowing the photo to not be as be as great as it possibly could be. And so yeah, the magic eraser tool allows you to just use your finger or it actually might suggest, hey, you might wanna remove this from the photo and it uses Google Smarts powered by that tensor chip that we just talked about. And it can seamlessly remove that object. And it's like, it wasn't even there in the first place. So it allows you to kind of just have these awesome photos without anything um, too distracting there in the background. And that you can do that from photos that you take on the gorgeous new cameras on the Pixel 6 and the Pixel 6 Pro, but it, you can also do it on photos that you took 10 years ago through your Google Photos account, and you can just use those already to, taken photos and you can use the magic eraser feature on those as well. And it also enables, uh, the Tensor does, uh, things like live translate and interpreter mode. Mm -hmm. I found that pretty That's exciting what you, what you demonstrated. Yeah, that's probably my favorite and most 
like groundbreaking stuff on the new phones. So there's this feature called live translation. So in the past, if you're talking to somebody in a different language, they're gonna re they're gonna send you a text. Say it's in Spanish. Maybe you don't speak Spanish. You're gonna see that that uh, the text, and you're gonna say, okay, I need to go translate that. So you copy that, go to Google Translate, see what they say, write your write your response in English, translate it to Spanish, and then go back to Google Messages, which is a pretty cumbersome. Uh, experience and so we've streamlined that completely and we built that live translation feature right into Google Messages or WhatsApp or whatever messaging application you're using and it just translates the text right there in real time as you're messaging so there's a pretty seamless experience there beyond that interpreter mode so that's through the Google Assistant and that allows for a two-way verbal translation conversation or two-way conversation um, in a different language through translation and so we can do that Again, through interpreter mode, that's available in a variety of languages, but what's unique to these phones and unlocked through that Tensor chip is offline interpreter mode translation. So that means you do not need cellular connectivity, you don't need Wi-Fi connectivity to be able to do that, where in the past you did need to have some sort of connectivity. So if you download, it's available in three languages right now between English, German, Japanese, if you download those language packs, you can then go to a different country, you can have no, no connectivity whatsoever, and you can have a two-way verbal conversation with somebody in a different language, which is completely groundbreaking. And I'm really excited about that because I use conversation mode, interpreter mode, whatever you want to call it all the time, but I always needed to find that Wi-Fi when I was in a different country. But now, no need to have that cellular connectivity. You can just do it right on there on the phone. And... Uh... It's, it's improved to the point where people can actually trust it, right? The translations from, from what I've seen. Yeah, yeah. If anybody, you know, if you go to store.google.com, you can watch the launch event from yesterday. And we do a really interesting uh, demo between two people speaking in English and Japanese. And yeah, I mean, again, Google Translate, it's not perfect. It's an automatic translator. We're always working to improve the technology, but it definitely has gotten a lot better lately. And it is quite accurate. It's great. And it's a, it's a really, really, really useful feature. And I think, you know, it just brings people together. Very exciting. So tell us again where people can go for more info and even to pre-order. The, the phones actually arrive on, on the 28th, right? Pretty soon. Correct. Yep. And you can pre-order them today. You can look at all of our different hardware devices at store.google.com. Justin Burr, thank you so much for taking the time with us. Hey, I always appreciate it. Now this. It takes a lot of listening to build a better radio, and that's just what the folks at Sea Crane have done. Bob Crane and his crew, nestled among the rivers and tallest trees in the world in Fortuna, California, have made a habit of listening to their customers, and that's just what they've done in building the CC Skywave SSB, the Swiss Army knife of portable radios. For everyday listening to AM or FM in the yard or patio or on the nightstand, Without having to drain a mobile phone battery, it's a great companion. But it is also a companion equipped for NOAA weather information and alerts that can be life-saving. You can listen to FEMA and Coast Guard transmissions too. Beyond all of that, you can tune into shortwave signals from around the world. It's compact, easy to take with you, and built to last. The CC SkyWave SSB. Click on the link at textonation.com.